tonight. So it's some great racing here at Red River Co-op Speedway. 15 laps on the board in this truck race tonight. So like I said, only eight cars tonight in this truck class. This is a class that kind of sits around 12 cars in the past, but this year struggling to get some numbers out. Of course, a couple of drivers uh, had to take the year off this year, but uh, hopefully they're back for next year and we can build this class back up here at the Speedway. Uh, fun class to watch because it's different. You don't see this at a lot of other traffic, uh, pardon me, at a lot of other uh, tracks here in northwestern uh, Canada and, and the United States. They don't race this uh, that often. However, there is, of course, the NASCAR series that people do watch. Uh, that's very popular. So hopefully this catches on here and catches on at some other tracks and we can build this class up to a nice respectable 15 to 20 car uh, pack and uh, it'll be even more fun to watch. This video production is sponsored in part by Inferno's Bistro, located in the heart of St. Boniface, and Inferno's On Academy, Winnipeg's hottest restaurant and lounge. Check us out at infernosbistro.com and infernosonacademy.com. So the truck's still waiting to get on to the track here as the 22... Midwest Modified rolls off the track. 10 to 9 here in Winnipeg. So we are flying through these races. So only eight trucks tonight in this class. Let's go through each one, one by one, starting off on the pole position. He's driving the 30L. That is Lynn Luckin. Driving the number five, that is Rod Fiddler. He's on the outside of row number one. Driving the 73P, that's Ginger with the driver, Rennie Paluco. On his outside, driving the number 18, it's Dustin Enns. He's a winner last week. He's got two feature wins here at Red River Co-op Speedway. In row three, the guy that everybody has been trying to beat week after week, year after year, it's J.B. Vernos driving the number two super truck. On his outside, Driving the number 13 super truck, that's Derek Pollock. In driving the number 67 on the next row, it is Mark Zondag. And the last but not least, driving the number four super truck, that is Wayne Grosky. Like I said, a total of eight cars tonight in this one. Should be a dandy of a race as we get ready to go racing here at Red River Co-op Speedway. Looks like we're good to go. We've got green flag racing, and we are racing here at Red River Cup Speedway. That number five truck of Rod Fiddler, he makes a big push early on, and Fiddler now out to the lead. He goes wide and hard, and Dustin ends having problems on the back stretch on turn number two. Oh, boy. He drops all the way from third spot all the way down to the eighth spot. Not a good start for him in this race. He's got a long way to go. The five truck, he's out in front, followed by that number two, and the 73P, that's Ginger and Randy Paluco. They are in third, making a great push in this one. Wayne Grosky currently sitting in, in the fourth spot, driving the Ford truck, and then behind him it's the 13 and the 30L of Lynn Luckin. Good race there shaping up between those two. That 30L and the 13, Derek Pollock in that truck tonight. And the lead up front is being challenged right now. That's the two truck, Jamie Vernos, trying to take the win away from his fellow partner driving the number five super truck. That's Rod Fiddler. And at the top of your screen, as you're going to see here, we're going to put in our Big Day Media Manitoba Racing Network Live ticker with all our current results here. You can see the 73P of Randy Paluco. Those are live as soon as they go across the line. 
it updates them so you currently know who's in first, second, third, and fourth, fifth, and we'll keep you updated throughout the night. We've got 11 laps in, and we've got a new leader, Mark Zondag, that just passed him. He's having some problems with his vehicle tonight, and our leader right now, driving the number two, that's Jamie Vernos. Randy Paluco, he just crossed your screen right now. He's currently sitting in third. Grosky in fourth. In fifth, it's Lynn Luckin in the 13 of Derek Pollock. He is in sixth spot. Zondag having problems, and Dustin ends no longer on the track. Dustin ends, of course, winning last week. Has two victories here at Red River Co-op Speedway. Fastest time in this one is going out to Jamie Vernos with a 20.523 time. Jamie Vernos driving the number two Dynasty bathroom truck. Here he is. He's leading it. And you see the distance behind the number five and the 73 and the four. They've got a way to go if they want to catch our leader. Seven laps to go in this feature race. Vernos, your leader. He's also the leader, I do believe, in the point standings. Hard to believe. He's done so well in that super truck this year. He's only five points up on Dustin Ends, and it's not a good start for Dustin Ends tonight, not being in this race. Six laps to go. Your leader, Jamie Vernos. Rod Fiddler in second, followed by the 73P of Renny Paluco. Paluco, he's got a way to go if he wants to catch up on that five truck. And the four of Wayne Grotsky is even further back. These trucks now starting to really spread out on the racetrack. The only real race is in second spot, and that's between the five and the 73P. And as we take a look at these two trucks, as they're going around turn number one, there's a bit of distance if the 73P is going to catch up. Five laps to go. Bernos, your leader. He's got four now. Still owns the fastest time on this track. The only two guys to crack the 21 barrier are Paluco and Vernos. Vernos consistently with one of the best times on that track. And we've got a yellow flag. So the five having problems slowing down. The number five looks like it had a puff of smoke as it was going around the turn, so it was having some problems. Tough break for that five truck doing so well. Now, if you're a guy named Rennie Paluco, you're smiling from year to year because they look like they're going to push that five truck off the track. So that means he's now sitting in second. That 73P truck, Rennie Paluco. Mr. Excitement, they call him. A few weeks ago, he had the chance to sit down and do color commentary for our broadcast. We enjoyed his time out there, and we asked him to come back whenever he has an opportunity. Unfortunately, he says the rest of the season, the trucks are almost always here. There's only one week that they're not, and that one week he has another engagement, so he cannot be here. So unfortunately, no more Mr. Excitement this year on our broadcast. But we'll find somebody else that's just as exciting, I'm sure, to sit down. Maybe we can bring in uh, Jamie Vernos or maybe Dustin Enns to sit down and give us some commentary. I know Derek Pollock has made mention that he'd love to be part of our broadcast. So maybe we'll bring Derek Pollock up here to do a little talking with us and give his thoughts on how the racing have, has been going this year. And if you're a driver here at Red River Co-op Speedway, you'd like to try out your color commentary skills, I'd love to have you up here with you. It's a long night for me all by myself. I have to honestly say talking night after night after night all by myself. So when I can bring somebody else up here, like last week we had Eric Gio, did a fabulous job. Thank you so much, Eric, for coming out. Love to have somebody else up here with us. So they're going to go single file from this point. We have four laps to go on the Pepsi board. Only six cars on the track in this one. Of course, uh, we lost Dustin Ends early on, and now we've lost the number five of Rod Fiddler for the time being. 
Uh, I don't think he's coming back onto the track. So it looks like we started with eight. We are now down to six. It looks like we may have another truck that's having problems as the tow truck now is at the back. So we're going to take this moment to take a quick little break and thank one of our sponsors here on the Manitoba Racing Network. This video production is sponsored in part by Inferno's Bistro, located in the heart of St. Boniface, and Inferno's On Academy, Winnipeg's hottest restaurant and lounge. Check us out at infernosbistro.com and infernosonacademy.com. Kind of fooled us here. We thought we had a little bit of time. They looked like they were about to go, and then another car with a problem. So, like I said, six cars as we go through the stretch. The number two truck in front, followed by that 73P right behind him. Behind him, it's the 401 Wingroski, followed by the 30L, Lynn Luckin, and then the 13 of Derek Pollock. And at the very back end, it's the 67 of Mark Zondag. Six cars. It looks like we're going green flag racing. So Paluco currently in second, Groski in third, followed by the 30L, Lynn Luckin. Four laps to go on the Pepsi board. Jamie Vernos, your leader in this one. And Paluco still holding on to second spot. Bit of a race starting to form for third between the 4 and the 30L. Groski and Lynn Luckin. They're getting closer here in the front stretch. Just two laps to go. The only battle really that we have so far, and it looks like we got that 13 truck of Derek Polk now making a bit of a push. He's right behind them. Pollock, Luckin, Groski. Pollock hits the throttle going around turn three. One lap to go for our leader, Jamie Vernos. We'll stay with this race in the back. Looks like Rennie Paluco has got pretty much sole spot of second place. And that race is heating up in the back. Oh, now it's starting to split. Lynn Luckin falls back We're down to the 4 and the 13. Pollock making a push. Your leader and your winner in this one, Jamie Vernos, with another feature win here at Red River Co-op Speedway. Second spot will go to Rennie Paluco, but the third spot, oh, that's close. It's the 4 of Wayne Groski that slips in just by a hair on Derek Pollock. Derek Pollock, wow, what a good opportunity for him. He was a little further back when we started this restart and manages to squeak his way almost up the third spot within just a quarter of a car length. And wow, a great race for him. There is your leaderboard that we're going to be putting on the screen for you here. Jamie Vernos. That last lap, 21.013 seconds. His fastest time tonight, 20.523. He was the fastest on the track in this super truck race. Second guy with speed, not far behind him. Randy Paluco doing a great job tonight. Started the race tonight, all the way back in third, finished up in second. So uh, he moved up a spot, a little bit fortunate. Of course, the uh, five of Rod Fiddler did not finish. So he ends up moving up, getting a second finish. And He's uh, going to be pretty happy with that, I think. But the guy that's even more happy, the guy holding that checkered flag, Jamie Vernos, with another victory here at Red River Co-op Speedway. We're going to throw it down to Darren Pallon in just a few seconds as he gets ready to do an interview with our winner tonight.
Thank you very much, Pat Mooney. I'm down here with Odessa's Carrie Beaton as Jamie Vernaus getting out of the Coroma Dynasty bathrooms number two after yet another win here in the Searcy Super Truck Division. This guy grew up here. His dad opened the place in 1974, and Jamie grew up here as a youngster at Red River Co-op Speedway. At the time, of course, it was Winnipeg Speedway, later became Victory Lane Speedway. And there he is one more time, Jamie Vernaus in the Super Truck Division. Well, Jamie, a fantastic win once again. A little bit of a battle with Rod Fiddler in the five, but you got her done in the Dynasty Bathrooms number two. Thank you very much. I know it was a lot of fun out there. The track, track was awesome. It was smooth. There was a top and bottom line. Track, uh, the truck was hooked up really good. Tons of power. Had lots of fun. You guys sure spend a lot of time on the handling of that truck, don't you? Oh, for sure. There is a lot of time spent on it. We definitely got to thank everyone that's involved, the crew, uh, the sponsors, family, and especially you fans out there for coming every week. All right, how about it? Your winner in the Searcy Super Trucks for Odessa Auctions, Carrie Beaton, going to present the trophy here. Tim Johnson with the photograph. And that'll do it for this one. We're going to go back up to the tower. Thank you so much, Darren. As we get ready to go racing, we have, of course, got two more classes.